evening, everyone. I'm Laura Pacetta from Acorn Design, owner and founder. Thank you, Hub 101, for including me in this program. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Okay, I'd like to talk about women's products. <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> can I just say a woman's handbag? I'm a woman, so I can speak. <laughs> what a mess. We stuff these bags all the way to the very top. Why do we do this? Well, I can't speak for every woman, but I will say, I think when we leave the house, we want to be more prepared than Girl Scout. I also think that we love to take a little bit of our home with us wherever we go. That's just who we are, that's how we're made. It's, it's not that we're unorganized. It's just that we get these bags that are big, they're bulky. It doesn't help that the liner is black inside there. They give us pockets that are too big, too small, or they're all the wrong sizes. Why is this a problem? Well, because when women have an object in their bag, they throw it in. They don't have a place to put it. So it lands on the bottom of the bag, and what happens is, open up the bag, and it's like looking into a black hole. We cannot find anything. Well, I've suffered many, many years of my life, and I finally decided it's time. I'm going to come up with a solution. So we designed a handbag where we compartmentalize the seven most important place things that women need to get in and out of their bag. Let me show you. How many of you have seen someone sitting on the sidewalk trying to find their keys? Well, I've done that a few times. You've probably seen me do that. So we've created a pocket where it's designated for your keys to go. The reason it's on the outside, that's where women prefer it. So let's say the phone's ringing, okay? You're going through your phone, you can't find it. The outside pocket is the most preferred area for our cell phone. One of the biggest problems with handbags is that we get these pockets that don't fit. And the electronics, some of these women's phones are huge. So we've created a pocket that will fit all sizes of phone. So I don't know about you, but when I'm in the store, I hate digging for my, my wallet. I want to get in, I want to get it, I want to get it. So we created a pocket where that is accessible immediately. Again, why do women buy all these cheap sunglasses? Well, it's because we throw them in there and they're all scratched by the time we're done with it. So we created a pocket that allows women a safe place to put their glasses or prescription glasses where they can find them and they don't have to scramble through and they don't have to scratch them. Makeup. Well, not every woman brings and carries makeup, but we designed a bag that fits into this compartment that's see-through, waterproof, pulls out really quickly. And again, we like to be like a Girl Scout, so we need to break a lot of little stuff. And sometimes this little stuff ends up in all the little pockets and we can't find it. Lipstick. Now, I didn't realize until I started surveying large amounts of women, I couldn't believe how many women struggled to find their lipstick. And it's a little bitty item. So when you're reaching in your bag, you're like, I don't know where it is. Well, we created a pocket where you can reach in and find it. Even for those women that like to drive and they're reaching over trying to find their lipstick, quick grab and go. And of course, here's our open space. And we created this open space because women, again, want to put everything with the kitchen sink in there. So this is an extra opportunity for them to put a mini laptop, a Kindle, a book, a or another bag full of stuff that we can see. So as you can see, we've created the solution where the seven most important things that a woman, need, woman needs to get to, she can get to. No struggling, no more digging. Leave that for the garden. <laughs> <laughs> so to keep our customers happy, it's not just the bag that we wanted to sell. And by the way, this is the first bag of many. This is just the average size bag that we have found that women desire. So to have our clients, or our customers come back, we want women to be able to build their back. We want them to be able to uh, pick their insert. We want to develop a wallet that's even better than the compartments in this bag that really rocks it. We want to have uh, the insert bags that I pulled out and showed you. They're going to match the inside. They're going to be really pretty. You're not going to be embarrassed to pull that out. And handles. <coughs> women have a lot of different preference on handles, a crossbody, the over the shoulder. Why not include a really beautiful, let's go out tonight, let's change my handbag and, and jazz it up handle as well. Is there a market for this? <laughs> oh, God. 
Absolutely. <laughs> $9.6 billion in the U.S. alone. There's a little room for us for this product because women are sick of trying to find their keys. I'm one of those. I'm tired of it. Trying to find their phone before the end. it's done ringing. And we just want to get to our stuff. So we've done some, some research, and again, this is all very new for us, but we found our market to be ages 45 to age 65. Why? Because these women have suffered long enough. <laughs> but you know what? I'm in that group. Also, they, you know what? They have the money. They, they are willing to find a product that saves them time and, and hassle. And since I've developed this product, I gotta tell you, I feel like this load has been lifted because I can find my things. What a great idea. <laughs> also, our sales channel. Um, online retailers, eBag is an excellent place for this because they have a video link on there. You can click on the bag, the, our bag, and see all these great compartments and how they work. Um, the retail and boutique markets, boutiques would be really good because, of course, boutiques are about you know, really giving your customers really hands-on attention. And they can say, hey, come check out this new bag and look at all these compartments. Really great market. Um, home Shopping Network, we're very fortunate. We have our foot in the door to a very strong player in QVC. So we're really hoping to see this possibly rock at QVC. And again, the experimental pulling everything out and those ladies up there showing up beautiful. It, it would really, really sell well. The financials, again, this is very, very new. Um, we kind of wrapped our head around a little bit of it. Uh, don't hold me to it, but as um, we've talked many times, my, my husband and I, we have decided that after for this first year of this business going in, we plan on completely setting this through the roof and make this profitable. The roadmap. Oh, starting 101, I came in decided to go ahead. I've been wanting this bag for so many years. I've been searching the department stores for it. I've not been able to find it. So I got out my sewing machine and in my kitchen I decided to make the first prototype. Brought it to class and I loved it. I couldn't, I just loved it. And if it wasn't so ugly, I probably would have, I don't know what I would have done. But it was really not quite beautiful. I took it internationally with me to Canada and I loved it. My husband said, oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't lose your ticket and you found your passport. So I decided to do prototype B which is this one here. Again, I made this in my, my kitchen, modified some of the compartments, made a few pivots, um, really love my product. I'm the first person to say, I'm already, I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing now, since we love it so much, we've hired a designer, and he is going to design four incredibly beautiful bags out of leather and other fabrics, different handles, different inserts. And at that point, we have 10 ladies lined up. In fact, if there's any ladies here tonight that want to demo my bag, I would love to sign you up. Um, they're demographically chosen. And the reason we want to do this is we want them to take this bag and put it through its <coughs> test and tell us how they like it. But I already can tell you, I know what's going to happen. They're going to be like me or me. I'm sorry. Go. I'm going to keep the bag. <laughs> so at that point, once we've completed our testing, we plan on taking it to some manufacturers here locally and look at some overseas manufacturers and get a really true price. That way we can put together a really good rocking um, business financial plan and know where we're heading. At that point, we're launching. I've, I've done many different products. I've had different businesses. I absolutely love being an entrepreneur. Um, my husband is my co-founder. He's raised tens of millions of dollars. He has taken startup companies from profit to acquisition. So i got a great team. We're building it as we speak. Um, I am very excited to be doing this. Thank you, 101, for including me in this process. And if there's anyone interested here tonight, we're putting together an um, uh, investment package in about 90 days once we get past this bit, and we would love to speak with you. Thank you once again.
you know, I would, I want to take this product and do a lot of really great upgrades. And it's a great question. Um, I kind of think this is already. So we're going to do some really neat things. We also don't look at it as just one product. We have a whole series of products in, we're in our back of our mind. It's not just going to be women's bags. This is just a start. We want to do men's bags. We want to do um, some travel bags. Um, so giving this product to them would limit us on where we'd like to go with the product. I'm married to someone in your age range. She's 29. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I, it, it, it's, why have manufacturers not addressed some of these issues, like finding your keys and finding your That's products? a great question. And over the last 50 years, I'm not sure why. But I don't care because I'm going to do it. <laughs>